Europa Park is the second biggest theme park resort in Europe in terms of visitors and has been in the game since it opened back in 1975 in the German town of Rust, right in the border with France. Since then, it has seen countless new additions with major expansions, new hotels, new attractions and even a water park. Right now, it doesn't show signs of stopping anytime soon and for this year, 2024, the park is preparing to open a brand new ride to be located in the Croatian-themed land. Today, come along as we explore Europa Park's brand new coaster, Voltron, and where the inspiration might have come from. Spoiler alert, it's Disney. Oh boy! Before we begin, if you enjoy my content and this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I upload weekly videos on theme parks from the past to the future. If you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming a channel member. You can find me over at Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky and in our Discord community where I am most active. Links are in the description. With that, let's dig in. Before going over how Voltron, like so many attractions in the German resort, connects to Disney, let's find out everything there is to know about this very exciting roller coaster attraction. Europa Park is owned by the Mac family, who are also at the front of Mac Rides, a 235 year old company, which is one of the market leaders for the development and construction of amusement park attractions. Mac Rides is on an amazing roll lately, being in charge of many of the attractions being built in Universal's new Epic Universe theme park to open next year at the Universal Orlando Resort, such as Starfall Racers, the park's most thrilling roller coaster, and the Dark Universe spinning coaster. If you want to learn more about Epic Universe, consider watching our video on it. Europa Park benefits a lot from being owned by Mac because it gets new and exciting ride and coaster technology, a lot of times being one-off if not the first to receive them. This is something that Voltron will achieve as it has world record elements and is the first striker coaster type worldwide. So let's explore what's to come. Europa Park celebrates European countries and their cultures and Voltron will be an addition to the park alongside the Croatia themed land. But why Croatia? Well, one of the most important inventors of the 19th century, Nikola Tesla, was born in what is now known as Croatia, and the ride will take inspiration on the real history of this man and what he brought to the world. Tesla is known for his work and contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply, and the new attraction will be all about electricity. The gorgeous facades inspired by real Croatian architecture will house the queue and hide the emblematic Warren Cliff Tower, or a recreation of it, soaring above the houses, coming in at 28 meters tall. The coaster itself will be very impressive, so let's get to some specs, shall we? It has a spectacular 1.4 km long course, soaring above everyone's heads at 32 meters tall. Riders will go upside down seven times, go through four launches and get to experience the world's steepest launch. The vehicle will run through the course at speeds up to 90 km an hour. A full ride in the coaster will take just under two minutes and every single rider will get off with an electrifying feeling, now that I am sure of. The station and part of the queue will be themed around Tesla's lab with cables and electricity everywhere. In terms of records, it will be the longest roller coaster with inversions in Europe, the longest launch coaster in Europe, the launch coaster with most inversions worldwide alongside three others, the steepest launch worldwide and that's not every single one. The first tracks were installed in February of last year and the coaster isn't the only thing going fast because in December, the first test rides were already being conducted. Europa Park now has the ride in testing, with the real trains that will be used once it opens, and the Mac family has already tested it themselves. For normal guests though, 
This summer will be the opening of the attraction. So now that we've been over the amazing attraction that Voltron will be once it opens, what did I mean by where the inspiration might have come from? Well, Europa Park is known for taking some inspiration from other theme parks, usually Disney parks. This has been more than noticeable in the past, with things such as Spaceship Earth and the now called Eurosat Ken Ken Coaster, which share a, let's say, similar outside shell, or Pirates in Batavia, which is a boat ride where guests are immersed in a world of pirates played by animatronics, not at all similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. Universum, their energy is one of the most blatant ones. Literally have the same name as Universe of Energy in Epcot, showcasing where energy came from with animatronic dinosaurs. But there are some more subtle things too, like Mac Emotioneers, that create and visualize ideas and concepts for new attractions, not to be confused by the Disney Imagineers. And of course, how can we forget the mascot of the park, a mouse? Now, there's a good side of this whole situation too, and that's where Voltron comes along. Disney has countless cancelled lands, attractions, restaurants and parks, and all of these things had some idea behind it. Maybe a great idea, or maybe a not so good one. One of the best cancelled ideas was Discovery Bay. We've been over this many times in the past, so to sum everything up, a few of the ideas shared by Tony Baxter made their way into Discoveryland in Disneyland Paris, and some did not. One of these was Spark Gap Coaster, a roller coaster that would be themed around electricity and magnetism, and guests would go around three steampunk pillars. This was a Parisian version because old concept arts for the original Discovery Bay show a much bigger, singular tower very reminiscent of Tesla's Wonderclive Tower. Voltron isn't the first time Europa Park takes something Disney had previously cancelled and expands on it, another example of it being Disneyland Paris's water park Lava Lagoon. Europa Park opened in 2019 their indoor-themed water park, something Disney never did. So it's great to see some of these long-forgotten concepts and ideas brought back to life, even if not by Disney. Europa Park continues to invest in new and exciting ride technology, and with it, their attraction and show lineup continues to grow, now being over 100 with 13 roller coasters. Well, 14 when Voltron opens this summer. This edition will be a big event in the park, not just for the coaster itself, but from an immersion and storytelling perspective as well. And I personally am very excited to see the first impressions when it opens up. Voltron and Croatia won't be the only thing to open in Europa Park this year, as the Alpine section of Austria is getting a huge makeover after being in a big fire last year. If you'd like to learn more about upcoming theme park projects, make sure to like this video. Now I ask you, have you ever visited Europa Park? Are you excited to see more of Voltron? Let me know down below. And now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.